New at five, a Chicago Divi bike spotted far from home in Mexico City. A Chicagoan spotted the bike while visiting family and was shocked. Turns out, though, the theft isn't all that surprising. Our Tara Molina has been digging into a spike in stolen bikes. She's live tonight in River North. And Tara, this theft issue is with the non-electric bikes, though, right? Exactly, Joe. We're talking about the classic bikes, the blue bikes that you're familiar with. These are free for users for the year who sign up for a subscription. And we're told the theft of these specific bikes are leading to issues. People can't find them anywhere. They're having an issue finding Divi bikes. These e-bikes, the electric bikes, are much harder to steal, we're told, but they cost extra. They're ending up everywhere, from Lake Michigan, to the streets of another country, Mexico City. We've seen Divi bikes across Chicago ditched, dumped, and dragged. Some taking to social media to report stolen bikes. Divi bikes painted black. This block in Evanston described as a Divi graveyard. A spokesperson for Divi telling me, quote, we've seen an uptick in theft of Divi bikes, and this has disproportionately impacted our pedal bike fleet. Going on to explain the electric bikes are harder to steal, because of anti-theft measures built into them. Through public records requests, I learned so far more than 80 bikes have been stolen on record. Compare that to 64 last year and 29 in pre-pandemic 2019. The data shows the thefts are happening across the city, leading to empty racks and headaches for users. It's just hard to find any. People like Pam Martin. Sometimes I've walked to like three different stations and I, by the time I've walked, it's been a half hour. It's like, Okay, I just wasted all this time. She depends on these to get around, but as they get harder and harder to find, she says they're becoming less dependable by the day. It's just very frustrating. What's being done about that? I never hear back from anybody. We started asking Chicago's Department of Transportation, who contracts with Divi, weeks ago, but they still haven't shared specifics, only telling me security of the fleet is top priority and they're committed to maintaining bike share accessibility. We asked Divi if the bikes are being replaced at the rate they're going missing, or if they're only being replaced with e-bikes like this one, since we're seeing more and more of these bikes that, remember, cost extra. They told us that's not something the city has asked for, CDOT has asked for, but they're open and willing to have that conversation if there's increased demand for these classic bikes specifically. Reporting live in River North, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.